Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Well, update nine has landed, and it's landed with quite a bit of controversy, not going to lie. And that controversy circles around aiming and the new auto aim, and also, oddly enough, Castilla, the new map. Obviously, one of the big things that we got in the update was the Japanese heavies, which you can see on the screen, one of them. And I'll deal with those in a different video, because I want to look at the controversies in this video. And the controversies center around, as I said, two things, the new auto-aim and Castilla. So it's going to be easier for me to deal with the new map first. Well, it's not a new map, it's just an upgraded map. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into Castilla and we're going to have a look at it. Here we are on Castilla. Well, it's not a new map, it's just been reworked, basically. And there's a lot of noise about this, a lot of controversy, you're not going to lie. And I'm trying to work out what that controversy is. Now, a lot of people are saying that it's washed out, it's not very nice. Me, on the other hand, I actually like this new retooled, reworked map for many reasons. And one of the reasons it is, I actually think it does resemble somewhere in southern Italy, which is exactly what it's meant to resemble, to be honest with you. I think it looks a beautiful type of map. Everything's been flattened out a little bit. It's been lowered down uh, and stuff like that. But a lot of the controversy, as I said, is coming out from the look. They're saying, oh, the grass is not green enough and stuff like that. But as I said, I mean, to me, this looks like somewhere that could be in southern Italy. I mean, the poplar trees there are looking good. The, the, the grass has got the faded, some bleach look to it. Okay, the water could be a bit better, not going to lie. And I've got this on, on enhanced graphics. But the map itself, I think, looks pretty decent. And his royal fatness will be happy to find out that the truck that used to be there, that used to absorb everybody's shots, has now gone. Um, so what is the big deal over this map? Well, I don't really know. As I said, I, I'm actually quite liking it. I'm thinking the renders are nice. It, it, it actually looked good. Oh, look, the, the knees look like little Fiat 500s. <laughs> um, in fact, they look like a lot of little Fiat 500s. This is what it's meant to be. This is meant to be a representation of somewhere in Italy. And I think they've done a good job with this retooled map. And I, for one, would like to see them do this on other maps. Yeah, okay. We don't like change, basically. Nobody really likes change. I remember when they when they changed vineyards and they made it so it wasn't so dark because um, it was twilight initially. And there was a lot of controversy over that. But is it really justified or are we just complaining for the sake of complaining? Now, I understand that some people don't like to see certain things happen. But personally, as I said, I'm thinking this map is looking quite funky. And, you know, I think they've done a good job, regardless that it looks washed out. Because I don't think it looks that washed out, as I say. Anyway, I mean, that's just my opinion. Your opinion may differ. You may not be a fan of this new retooled map. I am. I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's, it's made it nicer to play. Okay, and we'll get into a game on it in a moment. But I think some of the controversy surrounding this retool is a little bit knee-jerk, to be honest. Um, yes, you know, we'd all love to have brighter green on the grass but that then wouldn't be somewhere in southern Italy would it let's be honest with you and that is the whole point of this map so let's jump into a game now this is the game that I played yesterday in the uh, in the tier 8 Japanese heavy tank and it was my first go on on Castilla to be honest and I, you know I hadn't played it in open test I hadn't jumped into a training room and I was quite excited when this one came up and I enjoyed the game, I enjoyed the map, I thought it was nice, you know, it, it didn't hurt my eye, it was quite pleasing. Yes, it was different, of course it was different, because it's flatter, it's, it's not as big and bumpy as it used to be, um, but is that cause for concern? I mean, is that cause for the controversy? 
And like I said in the overview, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, the grass is not green enough, or it looks too washed out, etc., etc. Is that true? I mean, is that what everybody thinks? I mean, I don't personally think that. I think it's a nice map. And I think the colours are reminiscent to what you would get in real life. And isn't that what we're after? We're after something that's more akin to what the things are like in, in real life. You know, I mean, it's, it's meant to be an immersive game. And don't forget, it's a mobile game. This isn't a PC game where you've got, you know, the ability to do massively enhanced graphics. Yet here, we've got massively enhanced graphics. And for a mobile game, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the retooling. The map doesn't play any differently to how it used to play, I don't think. Okay, as I say, it's not as big and lumpy as it used to be. It's it's still playable. It's still a similar play style. You know, people are still going to go to the same spots and do the same things, etc, etc. So, is it really justified, this, this controversy over this map? I don't know, you tell me. I mean, you're, you're, you guys have an opinion on this, but as I said, a lot of people don't like change, and a lot of people don't like to embrace change. And we've had a map, Castilla, in the game for a long time, and a lot of people don't like the fact that it's been changed, because, you know, change, you're always going to get a resistance to change. Good thing, bad thing? Well, that's your call, to be honest with you. Personally, you know, I embrace change for what it is, and as I said, I'm liking the new graphics on this map. I'm liking the way that this map is looking. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, sugarcoat my views, but they're just my views. And I'm not saying those views because I'm an official CC for, for World of Tanks Blitz. Those are really my views, you know, I'm not a mouthpiece or a talk piece for, for wargaming. I tell you what I think, and I like the map. If I didn't like the map, I would say, I don't like the map. For example, I don't like mines. I mean, they retooled mines and, you know, I thought it was pretty pants. To be honest with you, they, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nonsensical map and they should remove it from the upper tiers. But that's just my opinion on mines. Whereas this map, I think it's nice. But let us know your thoughts on that one, guys. The other major controversy that I've heard is surrounding the new auto-aim, and this comes in, in, in two parts. Firstly, I'm hearing a lot of noise from a lot of the better players that this auto-aim makes it a lot easier for people, okay? Um, I've heard so far people say it allows 40 percenters to make 60 percenter shots, and well, you know, does it? I don't know, to be honest with you. What I did find out before I did the stream uh, on update 9, um, I, I, I'd seen some issues surrounding the auto-aim from the one and only is Royal Fatness. Um, he's saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to track him, it's difficult to do this, it does too much aiming for you. But then he said, but there's a workaround, and... You know, if you, if you play with the sensitivity, then it gets a bit better. So what I did, I sort of lowered my sensitivity on the joystick and on the camera, and I didn't really see much of a noticeable aim problem. What I did discover was the following. It's much harder to do those snapshots. Okay, number one. And sometimes the auto-aim wants to sort of take you to places that you personally don't want to go. And, you know, you're trying to do sort of finesse shots onto, like, turret hatches and stuff like that. And the auto-aim just doesn't want you to do that. That, I get, is an issue. Okay? Because what's happening is the auto-aim is sort of kicking in to, to give you... To, 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 to do a better shot, so to speak. And that's where the players are coming from. Because they're saying that this auto-aim system allows you to effectively just point and shoot and the, the, the system will do it for you. That therefore doesn't require skill. You don't need skill to do that because the actual mechanics of the system is doing it for you. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm not a 60% win rate player. Um, so I don't know what a 60% win rate shot actually is or what it means, to be fair. I mean, I, 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 I just point the gun in the, in the direction I want to shoot things uh, I aim for parts that I think I can pen, 
um, you know, that's generally what I do. And if I pen, I pen. If I don't pen, I get angry. Uh, and I start arguing, you know, RNG. And I didn't personally see much of a noticeable difference. Not personally, but that's, again, just me. And you yourself have got to come to these conclusions and work these things out all on your, all on your own. Now, you've just seen a game there on Halas. Was it me? Was it auto-aim? I don't know. Um, and this is where I'm struggling, okay? And this is where I need you to sort of issue comments and tell me what you think. And I'm going to show you another game um, on, on, on Canal, which again, I mean, is it me or is it the auto-aim? Or, or, or what is it exactly that's happening here? It, as the system made it easier, because I don't know. Here we are on Canal. And as I said, it, we, we lose this game, by the way. Um, a lot of people get very angry in this game. But what I want to show you, I want to show you this Brawly type thing and, and this auto-aim. So, yeah, I think I'm aiming at a good place. And you see there, the, the, the auto-aim is taking me to a place I don't want to go. And that's frustrating. Okay. And I'm trying to get those hatches look. And again, it's taking me to a place I don't want to go realistically. But is that the auto aim or is it me? Am I aiming wrong? Um, or is it, you know, you can see the gun's pretty bouncy, but again, there you can see, I'm trying to get that turret hatch. And it's just not working for me. These finesse shots are just not happening because it wants to take me to other places. Admittedly, the gun is very bouncy. Um, and I've got, what have I got on this? I've got the speed on this on this one. But again, there you go. And, and I, I bounced like three or four shots there. I missed a couple. So, this, this auto-aim is a mixed bag, not, you know, I, I can't sugarcoat it any more than that. And, again, I'm still struggling to understand it, because I'm seeing a lot of noise about this from a lot of people. As I said, I'm not a 60% win rate player, 54%, which means I don't make 60% of shots, apparently. So, I don't understand this, 40% win rate players are now making 60% shots because I'm making the shots that I think I would normally make. Okay, sometimes it's, it's a bit more of a struggle to do those, as I said, finesse shots, but I'm still doing the shots that I think I would make normally. Admittedly, I have turned, you know, I've played around with the sensitivity settings, and I've made them a little bit different, and I've sorted them out that way. But, you know, is this all justified? I mean, you tell me guys what the issue is with the auto aim because like i say I, I can't really see what all the controversy is not really not really i i get that some people are very upset i get that i understand that because again we've got to change okay and again people don't like change it's, it's, it's just that straightforward people don't like change as I said, there's a lot of controversy around this, and I'm not really the best placed person to, to argue the fours and the, and the what fours. Is it really that bad? I mean, a lot of people are arguing that, you know, it's giving the ability for very low win rate players, players who are not particularly, you know, capable or skilled to do certain things. It's now giving them that ability to do it because it's aiming for you. You know, you don't really need to do anything. It's just point and shoot. And, you know, I understand that, I get that. I understand the frustration about that. Because for a long time, you know, people have been getting their muscle memory involved, especially the top players. And they're used to a particular system, and this system has now changed. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's frustrating for them. I, I get that, I understand that. But change is not necessarily a bad thing. And in this auto-aim scenario, I don't see it necessarily as a bad thing. Okay, it'll take, get some, take some getting used to, and you need to make some adjustments. I think the biggest controversy around this is that Wargaming haven't given you the ability to stick to the old system. Okay, they've revamped the entire system, entire, and that's it. You, you can't, you know, switch between this system and the old system. And when they last did this, on the aiming cycle, you had two choices. You had the new aiming um, 
part and you're on the old system. Oh, that's so annoying. You're trying to get that shot in it just doesn't work. You know, you had the old system and then you had the new system and you could choose which system you wanted. Now you can't. You know, you're stuck with this. This is the system that you have and this is the system that you're going to have. And you've got a choice. Deal with the auto aim or turn the auto aim off, basically. And that's what's causing some of the frustration, I think, because that choice is being removed. Because it's an entire new revamp of a system that is, you know, fundamental to the game. Let's not kid ourselves here. But is this a lot of fuss for nothing? As I said, I don't know. I'm not really best placed to say that. I rolled out last night. I don't think I played any differently to how I normally would play, to be honest with you. Okay, as I said, I had some shots that were frustrating. I'm trying to get certain shots in. Um, the, the auto aim is taking me to places I don't want to go necessarily. And I get that, I understand that, and it's frustrating as heck. But then on some shots, you know, I'm sat there scratching my head saying, how did that, how did that work? So I, I get that it's a mixed bag. It really is. And it's going to take some getting used to. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm trying to work out here. Is this warranted or is it unjustified? And, you know, that's, that's the $64,000 question. Warranted? Justified? I don't know. Only time will tell. So that's my little sort of look at update 9. In fact, the controversies surrounding update 9. Now, I'm not saying, you know, what I'm saying is true or correct. Only you, yourself, can come to that conclusion. You play the game, that's why you're watching this video, and that's, you know, you're effectively doing that because you enjoy this game. And only you yourself can say, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Does it suit your playstyle? Does it not suit your playstyle? You know, do you like the new auto aim? Do you like the new Castilla? Nobody can force you into an opinion, guys. You know, if your view is you don't like the new aim system, you think it's pants, and you don't like the new Castilla, then who is anybody to tell you that you're wrong? Your opinion, your view, counts when it comes to playing this game. Now, if you do have strong views on this auto aim, I'd love to know. And I'm sure, as a you know, as a CC, you need to tell me so I can report that back to Wargaming. I can say to Wargaming, look, the player base don't like this, and for these reasons. But you know, don't just sit there and be quiet. Shh, you know, open your mouths. You know, give yourself a view. I've given you my view. I like the new map Castilla. It's not new. I like the new revamped Castilla. I think it's okay. And I haven't seen much of an issue so far with the auto aim. As I say, some shots are a bit uh, because the auto aim wants to sort of force you into doing things. But on the other hand, some things seem to be fine. I don't know. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been my little video on that. My next video will be on the Japanese heavies, where we'll look at the tier 9 and the tier 10, so stay tuned for that, that will be coming out later. See? Damn auto aim. Until then guys, I really do want to know your views on this, so get writing in those comments, and until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.